Charles Darwin was a British naturalist and biologist who revolutionized the way we think about life on Earth. His groundbreaking theory of evolution through natural selection transformed the field of biology and had far-reaching implications for fields ranging from anthropology to philosophy. Early Life and Education Charles Darwin was born on the 12th of February 1809, in Shrewsbury, England. He was the fifth of six children born to Robert Darwin, a wealthy physician, and Susanna Darwin. From an early age, Charles showed an interest in natural history, collecting shells, rocks, and insects. In 1825, he enrolled at the University of Edinburgh to study medicine, but he found the lectures dull and the surgeries gruesome. After two years, he transferred to Cambridge University to study theology and natural history. In 1831, Charles was offered the opportunity to join the HMS Beagle on a scientific voyage around the world. The expedition would last five years and take Darwin to places like Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Australia, and the Galapagos Islands. The trip would prove to be a turning point in his life and career. The Voyage of the Beagle During the voyage, Darwin collected specimens of plants and animals and made detailed observations of the geology and biology of the places he visited. He was particularly struck by the diversity of the flora and fauna he encountered, and he began to develop his ideas about how species might change over time. One of the most important stops on the voyage was the Galapagos Islands, located off the coast of Ecuador. There, Darwin observed a variety of finches with different beak shapes and sizes. He hypothesized that the finches had evolved from a common ancestor and that their beaks had adapted to different food sources on the different islands. This idea would become a key element of his theory of natural selection. After returning to England in 1836, Darwin began to work on his notes and collections from the voyage. He also corresponded with other naturalists, sharing his observations and ideas. In 1839, he married his cousin Emma Wedgwood, with whom he would have ten children. The Theory of Evolution In the following years, Darwin continued to gather evidence and refine his ideas about evolution. He was influenced by the work of other scientists, such as Thomas Malthus, who had written about the limits of population growth. Darwin realized that if more offspring were born than could survive, there would be competition for resources, and the individuals with advantageous traits would be more likely to survive and reproduce. In 1858, Darwin received a letter from Alfred Russell Wallace, a fellow naturalist, who had independently come up with a similar theory of evolution through natural selection. Darwin was spurred into action, and he rushed to publish his own ideas in a book, On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection, which was released in 1859. The book caused a sensation and sparked heated debate among scientists and the general public. Darwin's theory challenged traditional religious beliefs and the notion of a fixed hierarchy of life on Earth. He argued that all species, including humans, had evolved over time and that they were not created in their current form by a divine being. Darwin's theory of evolution was based on several key ideas. 1. Variation Individuals within a species exhibit variation in their traits, such as height, weight, or color. 2. Inheritance These traits are passed down from one generation to the next. 3. Selection Some traits provide an advantage in survival and reproduction, and these individuals are more likely to pass on their traits to their offspring. 4. Time Over long periods of time, these small changes can accumulate, leading to the development of new species. Darwin's theory was met with skepticism and criticism from many quarters, including some prominent scientists of his day. However, over time, the weight of evidence in support of evolution became overwhelming, and his ideas became widely accepted in the scientific community. Darwin's Legacy Darwin's theory of evolution has had a profound impact on many fields of study, including biology, anthropology, psychology, and philosophy. It has helped us to understand the origins of life on Earth, the diversity of species, and the interconnectedness of all living things. Darwin's work also had social and political implications, as it challenged traditional views of hierarchy and power. His ideas were used to justify social and political movements, such as feminism and anti-colonialism, and they continue to inspire activists and thinkers today. In addition to his scientific work, Darwin was also an accomplished writer and a keen observer of human behavior. He wrote several books, including The Descent of Man, in which he explored the evolution of human beings and their relationship to other animals. 
Darwin died in 1882 and was buried in Westminster Abbey, an honor reserved for only the most esteemed British figures. Today, he is remembered as one of the most important and influential scientists of all time, whose ideas continue to shape our understanding of the natural world and our place in it. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and check out other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching.